All right, quick video here on mathematical induction and how we can use this technique to prove various theorems. Um, basically, mathematical induction is a way to generalize things that we know are true in particular cases, and we can see how to extend from a particular case to another particular case, but we want to generalize and say that this is true in all cases. And mathematical induction is a way to do that. For example, um, De Morgan's theorem. A or B bar equals A bar B bar. If you know digital logic, right? The nor of A with B is the same as the and of A bar with B bar. And this is called De Morgan's theorem, and we know that this is true. Suppose we want a three variable version of De Morgan's theorem. We can say A or B or C bar. And we know that since these operations are associative, this is the same thing as a or B, or with C, bar. And now we're set up for the two variable De Morgans where we have one thing or with another, and then we're complementing that. And De Morgan's theorem says that's the complement of this first term, so A or B, bar, anded with the complement of the second term, C. And De Morgan's theorem again tells us that the complement of A or B is A bar, B bar, and that gets ended with C bar. So we have a three variable version of De Morgan's theorem. Can we get a four variable version? Absolutely. Now we can say A or B or C or D bar, and we can do the same thing. We can break this into this term, or with D, and now we have De Morgan's theorem applied to two things, this and this. So that says we get the complement of this first term, A or B or C bar, ended with the complement of the second term, C bar. And now our three variable version of De Morgan's tells us that the complement of A or B or C is just A bar, B bar, C bar, and we end that with D bar. And now we've got the four variable version of De Morgan's. That makes sense. And we can look at this and we can say, you know what, I could do this for five variables. It would be exactly the same process. And once I've got this for five variables, exact same process gets it for six variables. So looking at this, we understand that De Morgan's theorem is true for any number of variables, two or more. But how do we prove that? How do we say that if we did a hundred variables, ordered them and took the complement, that would be the same as the and of the complements of all hundred variables? That's what mathematical induction does for us. It lets us take this thing that we know how to go from one step to the next and say, therefore, we can do this for all steps. All right, let's look at the mechanics of that next.